Hey, welcome back. I am Sandy. This video, I'll be showing you a summary of my custom-built R65 BMW motorcycle. Take a look. Black, keep the Toyota. Review about the Chote. Switching over to the 787. So welcome back again. This video is a summary of this year old project that I've been uh, running of my BMW, 1980 BMW R65. Uh, during the video I'll be uh, showing uh, different parts and different upgrades and different mods that I did to the bike. And I will have uh, pop-ups over here on the right or on the left uh, showing the specific video uh, of the actual part and the job that I did uh, on the motorcycle. And also I'll have uh, in the description below, uh, below the video in the description, I'll have all the parts, uh, links to the parts that I bought, where I bought them. So if you're interested, you can uh, take a look uh, at the parts and at the video. So let's start with the walk around. I bought this bike uh, about a year and a half ago. This is what it looked like when we just picked it up. Uh, John and I picked it up in Rhode Island. And this is a quick uh, look around what it looks like a year, uh, a year and a half after where the project is almost completely done. So let's start with the walk around. I made a little list so I don't forget anything because I, apparently I did a lot of upgrades. So let's start with the top. Uh, I installed new handlebars. Uh, took the old ones out, installed these new handlebars. The uh, throttle and clutch uh, unit or assembly. I actually used, I got a new one over here, a new throttle because my uh, brake uh, fluid reservoir was uh, leaking and it was round so I got this model uh, again it's BMW I got it on eBay new grips and new uh, mirrors I actually painted my own uh, levers and the clutch uh, unit I actually uh, painted re I redid it. it wasn't too complicated I did get a new uh, new brace or new unit because uh, this was old. Uh, so anything I bought, I bought on eBay and I went ahead and sold my old one. So there's always always somebody that will buy your garbage. This uh, starter uh, and cut uh, kill switch was also, I got on eBay new. Fabricated a new mount because I definitely wanted a new uh, speedometer and tack. Uh, unit assembly, so I just got this ace well. It's all digital and I installed it instead of the old uh, unit that I had before then the front uh, Front I got new uh, a New headlight there's also a video uh, of uh, the uh, actual uh, uh, Restoration of the previous one what I initially did was I used the previous one. So this is the second uh, uh, generation already this is new, brackets are new. New signal lights. I did not have boots before, rubber boots. I added the rubber boots. Painted the forks. As a matter of fact, I had to get new uh, inner, inner parts of the forks because apparently the previous uh, owner, for some reason, one of the inner, uh, inner forks was uh, longer than the other. So this whole thing was, uh, wasn't symmetrical. Fender, there's a whole video of how we did uh, the fender. This this used to be the old uh, fender. I fabricated it and made it nice and small black fender the way I like and the way I plan to. So uh, that, there's a whole video showing how I did it. Next, uh, we used new, I got new uh, brake line, painted the caliper, black and put a new brake pads 
This is the original, painted uh, the inner, inner hub in black. Wheels were powder coated black. Came out really nice. And I used, uh, and I installed these new uh, Enduro uh, wheels, both back and front. It's a German company, they're called Hayno. And they've got this nice, uh, stubby, aggressive look to them. And they've got good grip, both uh, off-road and on-road. They're 110, 80, 18. And the back, the back are 120, 80, 18. So that's what it looks like from, uh, Oh yeah, there's also new, a new uh, horn. Next, okay, I switched the ignition uh, position to here. It used to be over here on top in the cluster itself with, uh, with all the speedo. So I rewired, I moved the wires down here. I had somebody do this, I didn't do it myself. Um, next caps the uh, valve caps I painted them along with all you know the engine block worked on it uh, gave it a nice finish and uh, painted it black did fiberglass uh, pipe wraps I wrapped the pipes there's also a video about that carburetors these carburetors uh, are true to the bike but uh, the bike came with one carburetor that was different than the other so I might as well just buy new ones that's what I did I bought on eBay two matching uh, Bing that's what they're called Bing carburetors I had them serviced and they're now now they're running perfect next let's go up to the fuel tank fuel tank was originally blue had that painted new BMW emblem and the petcock I had to get a new petcock because it was leaking and it was very difficult to move pipes I, I wanted some uh, noisy and uh, short pipes so I installed these two got them I think uh, yeah on Amazon and I'm uh, like on Amazon next new seat the, uh, the previous seat the original BMW was replaced with this Vanzetti setup, Vanzetti sells online uh, these nice combination. It came with uh, a seat, a saddle, and the subframe. So it, it bolts from one, two, four screws, and the whole uh, seat and back subframe uh, by Vanzetti. There's also a video about that. New Hagen shocks from Amazon had to uh, take care of the license plate mount so that's what I did on Amazon as you can see I put an LED brake and signal light uh, got that on Amazon there's I think uh, we have a short video about that fender fabricated the old feb, uh, fender and just cut it so I have some kind of uh, mud protection and uh, rain protection what I did with this seat, I don't know if you can see back here, I think there's a video about that. Right under the seat, that's where I placed a new battery, uh, anti-gravity battery it's called, eight cell. I took the original battery assembly out of here so it, it opens up the whole, the whole area. Next, uh, what else, what else did I forget? Uh, you know, I, I did some uh, touch-up, some s small paint touch-ups here and there. I didn't like, I didn't uh, separate the frame completely uh, from the motor. I didn't want to play around with that, so I just painted whatever I could and polished whatever I could. Got new uh, brake pads back and front. So let me go through my list and make sure that I got everything. Okay, I did find in my list one the thing that I had uh, that I had done and I didn't mention. The front bearing, uh, there's a whole video about that. I had a problem with, uh, it was locked, it was lock it pretty much locked up and I took it to BMW. They couldn't, uh, couldn't fix it. They were incompetent when it came to doing that. So I actually went to my own mechanic and he fabricated a known, uh, his own sleeve that went in between the bearings. Uh, 
And last but not least, let's start it up and see what it sounds like. Well, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video, uh, this short summary of my uh, custom build BMW R65 1980. I really enjoy this. I don't think it's the end. I probably might, uh, I, I think I might be doing a few more upgrades. I don't know what, but for now, I'm driving it, I'm riding it, having lots of fun. Weather, as you can see, is really good now. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead, uh, give me a, a like, uh, share it with other people that you think might enjoy this video. Until the next video, peace out.